Loïc Perron gets the nod for the upcoming Rudy Rome. You're watching the selling updates desktop news. Welcome to the office. The famous French sailor let go of his project to sell the Rudy Rome on his vintage yellow trimaran to embark on Banque Populaire 7. Racing the route to Rome on a large multi-hole like this one was not even an option. It was not even a dream. Severely injured during a car washing accident, the skipper Armel Leclerc is forced to forfeit the route to Rome. The current situation is not easy to handle. Until the route to Rome is over, I'll basically have my heart in my mouth. The rum in the multi category was a dream, and to be among the favorites, even better. Now there will be other challenges, and I have to let that one go. The handover takes place in Lorient. The freelancer Loïc Perron will take the helm of the giant trimaran just for this one race. Obligations, and I have some obligations to educate myself. This boat is very physical, and I'm not ready yet, but it's doable. Although Loic was very interested to take on the challenge, he took some time to think about it before saying yes. Firstly, it's an honor to be asked, uh, but then in addition, there's full reflection. Well, actually, it took me longer than a full night to weigh the pros and the cons of taking such a massive challenge. Armel will be supporting Loïc's preparation all the way to the Route du Rums starting from Saint-Malo early November. That's what I told the team, Banque Populaire and Loïc. I will do anything to help them out, for the boat and Loïc to be as well prepared as possible for them to arrive in Pointe-au-Pitre as winners. That was the goal we had set. Loïc is fully aware of the enormity of the challenge ahead of him. The responsibilities on his shoulders are now massive. Personally, it was very risky to accept this type of situation. This is the boat and the guy who were supposed to win the event. Will I be able to do well enough? I just wonder. Leaving New York on July 5, Bobby's No Good sails the 2,870 miles at record pace and crosses the finishing line on July 10 at 6.23 a.m. Four days, 13 hours, 57 minutes and 30 seconds is the time set by her skipper Danielle to win the Atlantic record. Just arriving from his qualification for the next route du Rome aboard Spindrift 2, Jan Guichard, the boss of the Maxi Trimaran, sends these congratulations as message. Hi there, it's Jan Guichard. I wanted to congratulate you because crossing the Atlantic in such a record time is outstanding. Even when I was studying the weather, my navigation software never allowed us to be as fast as you. Obviously, we're a bit disappointed not to have had a chance to set a new record, but I guess it's part and parcel of trying to be Ocean Crossings' as record. So maybe next time I should play on virtual regatta and race against you. Anyway, congratulations again and see you soon. A special mention for the artist and champion of the event, Daniel takes advantage of the long standby period to draw a pretty nice boat in the middle of the Atlantic. On every next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.